Hi guys. So I had a question from a YouTube uh, user concerning the video on the Let's Encrypt um, enrollment uh, for the certificate. So actually the video is um, is good if you um, if you're going to apply the certificate for a internal application of Synology. I did not go through the end of the video uh, because it's true that I do not have any website on my NAS. I only have these standard applications like video station, cloud station, everything. So it might be a bit easier. And I would like to show you, first of all, um, the difference really between the older mechanism and the new mechanism for the on enrollment so you can better understand. And um, I'm going to show you how to apply the, and configure the certificate for a service, for example, that is not a Synology service or a package, and um, and then you, you maybe you don't know how to do it. So, okay, so we're going to stay into a standard architecture, so it's going to be an um, easy one, not a complicated one. So, okay, so here you've got you've got your NAS, okay, you've got your router here, as usual. Okay, you've got the LAN, the internet. Okay, here is the LAN. Here is the internet. Okay. Um, and you've got, of course, the beautiful web. Okay, so as you know, um, what you have to do at first is to have a, when you would like to have a certificate, is to have a host name. Well, you can also apply a certificate for an IP address, but I don't see the point. Okay, so let's say that we have the test.com um, uh, test domain. Okay, and how did the first uh, mechanism uh, work? I don't know if this is related to the version of the DSM you are running, or um, I don't exactly know what changed and how it changed. But the older mechanism was that, okay, you had the uh, Let's Encrypt uh, servers, and your NAS was doing here an HTTPS uh, request to you know to ask for a certificate and then let's encrypt had to verify that you um, this is uh, your server and your domain so it is it was um, up it was communicating with your NAS on HTTP to verify everything okay so uh, in this case you had to have a NAT configured just for let's encrypt enrollment and uh, renewal so that means that you had uh, in your NAT table okay you had if you have the traffic coming from the internet going to the one to the one address of the router on the port uh, HTTP on the 80, 80 the port 80 then you had to uh, forward it to the LAN uh, port of the NAS also on HTTP, okay? So this mechanism was not that good because uh, you had to have a NAT especially for that. And if you had a service on your infrastructure that was already listening to the port 80, well, this could not work um, in a good way, okay? It could not work. So, now uh, this is the old mechanism that uh, was not really practical. Now the new mechanism, how it is. Okay, so as I've explained, you've got your NAS here. Okay, you've got, uh, oops, that's not correct. Hopla. So you've got here your router. Okay. LAN, internet, as usual, you had the web, okay. And up, up, and then of course, uh, now what, what, what happened, okay? What's happening now? You're going to ask for a certificate. You're going to enroll your server for a certificate. So you are going to have the uh, Let's Encrypt server. The NAS is going to make a request as usual in HTTPS, okay? But what I explained in my earlier video is that the NAS is going to communicate again, but now with the DNS, okay? So when it has to, I guess that um, it sends some information from the NAS to Let's Encrypt, and um, 
there's some information, some data being exchanged in HTTPS and DNS to verify that it is indeed your domain and your server, okay? So the NAT for the uh, Let's Encrypt, it does not need to, to exist anymore from what I've seen, okay? So you don't need this one. Of course, you always need a NAT for the internet traffic to go to your web uh, to your web server okay so that's totally uh, as usual and there's nothing that's changing here okay so now you've got your certificate and you're going to have your nat as usual for your uh, as i said for your web service okay that is going to say that any traffic coming from the internet to the one address but this time in https of course because you would like to have a secure connection you can also have other ports, but let's stay simple. It's going to be redirected to your LAN of your NAS. Sorry, this was for the router. The NAS and again in HTTPS. Or HTTP, actually, as you want it. Uh, it's really, um, there are some different configurations that uh, can, be, uh, can be made. Okay, so this is how it happens. Now, as I told you, they've made HTTPS and DNS uh, I think because it's easier, it's uh, less configuration for the administrator and it works way better because you do not need to open any kind of NAT uh, service on your router. Okay, so this is how it works. This is the new one and we're going to work on the new one. Okay, okay so now uh, I've got my FQDN, my hostname, which is configure, which is this is a test4.synology.me. So I've got my address. And uh, now we have to uh, ask for the certificate, okay? So for the certificate, I've already asked um, eight. So it's already configured, but now I'm going to show you if I can, what happens, it's like in the, same, in the other video, what is going to happen when I'm going to ask to renew it, okay? So it's, it's the same thing that uh, asking for one. So here it says, as usual, that you have to have the port 80 and 443 open so that Let's Encrypt can reach your NAS. As I said, this is not necessary. So I'm going to say apply, and I'm going to show you here. Okay. And there we go. We've got... Um, I'm going to, to wait until it works. Okay, there we go. So we've got here the, uh, uh, the Let's Encrypt server on port 443 that is called. And you have also... Uh, where is it? The DNS entry, if I can find it, just here, which is also called, and uh, we've got the certificate that is just renewed. Now, when you have your certificate, you have to configure it to use on your service, okay? So now, I've got a lot of uh, built-in services like the web dev server, video station, and everything. All those services are built in the, to the NAS, you know, with the packages, so I can easily choose a certificate if I want to. Now, for example, imagine that you do not have the service that is shown because maybe you, you did something special, you have a special server, or it is maybe not on your own NAS, but the website is on another NAS or another server, you know, this kind of things, so you don't see the service here. So what you have to do when you are in this case, you have to go uh, to the application portal, you have to go to the reverse proxy, and you have to create a reverse proxy entry, okay? So the reverse proxy is going to take the traffic uh, from a side and uh, forward it to another side, okay? So when we talk here about source, this is um, the, the what the, the reverse proxy is going to listen too, okay, so if it sees that, for example, someone is asking to reach HTTPS uh, dot slash slash this is a test four dot synology dot me on the port eight um, on the port 443, okay, it is going to redirect it um, down to the um, to the, this IP address or host name to this port, okay, so those are all the settings that I have myself put, okay, and this is my unencrypted my unencrypted video station service okay so this um, this is the service that we're going to reach when the uh, someone is asking for https dot slash slash this is a test for dot synology dot me okay so we can close this okay and then what you have to go to go to the security tab then to the uh, certificate 
uh, tab and go to configure and there you can configure the um, uh, you will see that this new service that you've just created appeared and then you can uh, say that you would like for this service to have this certificate okay so this that's what has been done so now let's see i'm going to try to reach uh, th this is a test for that synology.me okay and as you can see it's working perfectly so that works and just to show you i can have here the connection up uh, ah, i didn't need to view the certificate actually i just want to stay um, up simple just up okay this is enough okay so as you can see here the website is this is a test for the synology.me and it has been verified that let's encrypt uh, and the certificate is going to expire in three um, in three months okay so now like as you can see it works quite well it's um, just a matter of uh, finding the right configuration and i think it should work like that like that pretty well so i hope you have found this video informative and if you have any questions just feel free to ask i would gladly answer them and if you like the video please consider liking the video and subscribe bye bye